What is good, you guys? It's Roy Walsh. We're back with another video. Today we'll be reacting to what NBA players think of flight reacts, react of think of flight reacts, reaction and thoughts. Let's get into it. And don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. On those See, notifications. flight T stand up. Huh. Why you lie? F T C. Flight T stand up. Why you lie? Okay. I mess with flight a hundred percent, bro. So whenever, like for real, bro, he's been grinding. So let's get into it. I say something because I said something about me and me pushing thirty about something. Oh yeah, I don't care what anybody. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? That silly thinks about me in terms of like if they don't like like me or something, or you know what I'm saying? In, in that category, the bad. No, I fuck flight. I fuck with you heavily. Over here, brother. Like, let's get into this reaction. I'm saying because in order to be successful in life, you have to stop caring what people think. That's the number one rule. That's facts. Let's say it out. Woods. Quote of the day, though. Sean Lex Productions. He put this together. Bro. Sorry, guys. We had to pause it. Like, cut off the mute. Skip it. I just never know, like, at the end of the 
I'm saying? Like, and it's just like, you know, taking like clips of anything I put out there on the internet and it's just like sending them to people and it just, and they just happen to see and they just live that enjoyment, man. It's just, it's just oh, inspiration. Like three, three. I just I watch this every day for the rest of my life. It's so uh, crazy. <laughs> I caught on late. Uh, I, this is probably around the time I came back from my injury. Yeah. Uh, I started to see it in my comments. Yeah. I, I see it a little bit more and a little bit more. <laughs> and man, that's actually crazy. To see someone's favorite player recognize you must be a great fan. I think, and like, if you're talking about sports history, this got to be top five in sports history. This is so cultural and dynamic, man. Flight. Also, like, make things even better. Curry follow Flight on Instagram. Yeah, I'll be back. Be quick. Don't call Zach Levine, dude, anymore. Call Zach Levine now. Since he looked up to you.
for after this happened, a mysterious tweet on Twitter went viral for a few hours. It was James Harden saying that Flight 23 White Hats came, which is crazy. However, the problem with this was that this tweet was posted in 2012 when James Harden was still a part of the Oklahoma City Thunder. So, what made James Harden say this? I mean, if my math is right, Bro, guys, I think that's me with the monster. Well, let me check this. I was about 16 years old when 2012 was around, meaning that he was in 10th grade. Maybe Harden saw Flight's incredible 9th grade highlights one day. Harden said, said we got game! I can't stop that, y'all. So this video might have to be short. <laughs> Cause I'm trying to. It was mostly based on what we want, and Wolf Life, of course, made the list. In that video, he was given some pretty awful grades regarding his skills. Bro, they compare me to Matthews, though. Come on. Who was Matthews? Knowing Flight, he took offense to this and went on a full road session. You mean you resent that you compare me to Damian Lillard? I was like, I like that right there, but you, instead of using this Wesley Matthews, dude, bro, don't nobody in the fucking world own a Wesley Matthews jersey. Right? <laughs> oh, you <laughs> will! He had like one or two good seasons with Lillard and CJ McCollum. I haven't even heard of this dude, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, what is he even doing right now? Is he a salesman or something? Yo! <laughs> don't compare me to Wesley Matthews, bro. That's disrespectful in my school. With that in mind, a lot of fans started spamming Wesley Matthews this clip on Instagram with on that. Of attention. As a result, Matthews actually has some pretty ruthless words to say about flight, and while the fan that talked to him sent this whole conversation to Cash on Instagram. Really? Where Bro, Wesley Matthews is actually pretty trash. That's my opinion. He's trash. He's trashing this guy out of the league, like for real. Matt, someone DM. I don't get it. You don't want to move this camera up here. Best for you to on the planet. Best editor on the planet. Best for you too, baby. Up there. We're at 11 minutes.
Trey Young react with, was in a too high video? Possible. That's crazy. No, nigga, I got tricked. Just so. Bro, chill out. The I'm not really watching our basketball content. Probably like, it'd be funny, like, y'all, like, that's probably really that soon. Yeah. Oh, man, Scotty. Scotty, Scotty of course, falls flight on Instagram, which is crazy. Seeing someone support you since the high school days must be a good feeling, especially when the player himself is from Florida as well. However, did you know yeah. that both John Moran and Clay Thompson copied Vice Braces once? Well, let's start with Clay Thompson really? first. I think I've seen a tweet on John. After a blowout win against the Pistons in 2021, Pistons forward Ronnie McGruder got into an argument with one of those Oh, yes, and I on remember this. Day, it's unclear what caused McGruder to be this aggravated, but Clay had enough of him. While reporting the game, he backed up his teammates and roasted McGruder so bad that he used one of Clay's lines. Yeah. Yeah, what, what, what's going on over there, Clay? Ronnie McGruder? I oh, don't know. This dude might be out the league soon. He's probably mad about that. Who knows? Yeah. <laughs> I can make another one. That's in the video today, so like, comment, subscribe, hit those post notifications. Thank you guys very much, and peace out.